It's that time of year again when we're thinking about worming the horses. Here at the farm we worm twice a year. We worm uh, spring and autumn. At the rest of the time uh, we herbally worm and offer the horses natural plant products that can expel worms. Uh, we have sheep and we have cows and we do worm counts but we still her uh, chemically worm twice a year. This is uh, Charo, she's the oldest member of the Think Like a Pony team. Okay, noises and different experiences are a really important part of preparation for worming. It's not the wormer that's their hard thing, it's the preparation. So just like bridling or putting on the halter, the horse has to be really comfortable and relaxed, lowering her head and neck. She has to be comfortable and relaxed, both sides. It's exactly the same preparation as getting a horse used to the dentist or to the bit. She's got to be happy and accepting of things around her mouth. Okay? When Chara first came here, when she was nine, she was a problem horse and worm in her, apparently she had to be sedated. Okay, so putting wormers in the feed is an option, but she's a very uh, sensitive horse. So if you put a, worm, a chemical worm in her feed, she just doesn't eat it. So we've tried, we've tried different things, but the best thing is confidence building and acceptance. Because whatever I do with her has to be something of trust. So lowering the head and neck, the more she lowers the head and neck. And playing with the mouth on a regular basis like this, like we said on the bridling video, lots of rubbing of the muzzle and playing with the nose. You can offer lots of different things around the head and neck, okay? But um, once the horse is very confident and accepting of anything around its head and neck and will lower its head and neck and will let you put your hands into its mouth, it usually is ready for a wormer. And if you can just put your thumb in the corner of the mouth like that and push against the teeth or your finger and pull the cheek away like this, the horse will usually accept a wormer. You can just, um, just check that out. Now, if you're holding your halter, or your head collar. Make sure if the horse pulls its head away um, that you haven't got your fingers wrapped around here. But if I thought for one minute that my horse was going to pull its head away, the worm wouldn't even be in the equation. All of that preparation takes place before I take the worm to my horse. Okay, so if I am going to use the halter as a restraint, hands that way, on the nose knots that way. Okay, so if I can just ask you to take this into a mouth like this all the way in like that. Can you see all it needs now is a plunge? Ah! <laughs> Don't bite it. And <laughs> it's ready to go. Okay? So if we just unlock this wormer and get it ready for a two um, to syringe. So we've got the right measurement of wormer for this horse, which for her is a full dose. Okay? So just get ready, pop it inside the mouth and plunge. Yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, some people say to me, well that's alright, that's that horse, you've trained her. But she should be able to be wormed by anybody or anybody should be able to worm the horses. So it should be the same procedures. What we're going to do is we're going to worm a youngster, a small pony and a large pony. Okay, and it should be exactly the same. This is Safi. We've had her about nearly two years now. She came to us as a very difficult horse. Uh, rearing, Did, wasn't very happy putting a bridle on, would not accept the bit, a lot of teeth issues. So can you just um, just check her out that she will now accept the wormer in her mouth? Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Okay, a little bit more. And I would just keep popping that wormer in and out of the mouth until all those bits of grass have gone, so just do that a couple more times, Kat. That's it. Nothing else to come out? Okay, just check. You happy with that? Yeah. Now, you can if you want, put your hand around here to worm your horse. This is a really nice thing to do. Okay, so you can just check out that your horse is really comfortable, she'll lower head and neck, she'll let you stay there, and then you can just practice doing the thumb, the thumb, and they can just do that. So if you just want to do that, can I hold you over for you? Excellent. All right. So
So do you feel confident that this horse will let you worm her? Yeah. Okay, prepare your worm and she's a full wormer again. Make sure before you plunge it, you've got the worm as far back in the horse's mouth as possible. Good. Excellent. So that was a success. Yeah. Easy so far. Just even making sure that the little pony is happy with his ears being touched. Um, pumpkin was given to us at the age of three and he has proved a little bit tricksy but now is actually a lead rein pony. His first year of lead rein. Okay, so he needs lots of confidence. He needs to feel happy. Good boy. Excellent. Okay, happy around here. That cat is extremely easy to bit, wasn't it? Yeah. Because of all the preparation, everything is a good experience. I'll just try with a mock one. Nothing wrong with the world. Do you want to do it, cat? Do you want me to do it? I want you to do it. Easy peas and squeeze it. No bad experiences. Okay, see you later.